He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered on the Pontius Pilate, was crucified and died and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life of the Amen. Let us pray. May all who have been baptized into Christ's death and resurrection die to sin and rise to newness of life. And may we with him pass through the grave and the gate of death to our joyful resurrection. Amen. Amen. Grant to us who are still on our pilgrimage and who walk as yet by faith that your Holy Spirit may lead us in holiness and righteousness all our days. Amen. Grant to your faithful people pardon and peace that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet hand. Amen. Grant to all who mourn a sure confidence in your loving care, that casting all their sorrows on you, they may know the consolation of your love. Yes. Give courage and faith to the family of George, who are now bereaved that they may have strength to meet the days ahead in the comfort of a holy and certain hope and in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those whom they love. Dear Lord. Dear Lord. Father of all, we pray to you for George and for all those who we love but see no longer. Grant to them eternal rest. Let life perpetual shine upon them. And may George and all the faithful depart into the rest of God. Rest us in peace. They hail to God be the Lord. During the singing of this hymn, the family have requested a collection of the for the building of the church.
the fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. They will become our spiritual food. All things come from you, O oh Lord, and of your own do we give you. Blessed be God forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We give it unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing. All men and everywhere to give you thanks, Father Almighty, everlasting God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who rose victorious from the dead and comforts us with the blessed hope of life eternal. For to your faithful people, O Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when our mortal body lies in death, there is prepared for us a dwelling place eternal in the heavens. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, all creation rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, whom you sent to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. We therefore bring you these gifts, and we ask you to make them holy by the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who offered himself in obedience to your will, the perfect sacrifice for all humankind. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this and eat it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And then after supper he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever you drink it, for the remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind the death your Son endured for our salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension, his continual intercession for us in heaven, and looking for his coming again in glory, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and life-giving sacrifice. Look with them on your church's offering, and grant that we who eat and drink these holy gifts may be filled with your Holy Spirit and become one body in Christ and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. May he make a perpetual offering to you and enable us in communion with <coughs> Blessed Mary, St. Mark, and the whole company of heaven to share in the inheritance of your sins. <coughs> Remember George Rupert in baptism. He died with Christ. May he also share his resurrection. When Christ will raise our mortal bodies and make them like his own in glory. Welcoming to your kingdom our departed brothers and sisters and all who have lived this world in your friendship. There we hope to share in your glory, where every tear will be wiped away. On that day we shall see you, our God, as you are. We shall become like you and praise you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, from whom all good things do come. With him and in him and through him, 
by the power of the Holy Spirit. We worship you, Father Almighty, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. And now as one family, let us pray the prayer that our Savior has taught us. Say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share the body of Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant him rest. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant him rest. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant him rest. The gifts of God for the people of God. For souls in peace and be satisfied, and we will sing that song.
Almighty God, we thank you that in your great love you have fed us with the spiritual food and drink of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, and have given us a foretaste of your heavenly banquet. Grant that this sacrament may be to us a comforting affliction and a pledge of our inheritance in that kingdom, where there is no death, neither sorrow nor crime, but the fullness of joy is all your sins, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Stand for the final commendation. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant George with all your sins. You only are immortal, the creator and maker of humankind, and we are mortal, formed of the earth. And to earth shall we return. For so did you ordain when you created me, say, You are dust, and to dust you shall return. All of us go down to the dust. Yet even at the grave we make our song. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Your servant George, with your saints, where sorrow and pain are no more, and the sign. Let us commend our brother George to the mercy of God, our Maker and Redeemer. Deliver your servant George, O Sovereign Lord Christ, from all evil, and set him free from every bond, that he may rest with all your saints in the eternal habitation, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant, George. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive him into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in life. <laughs> Into paradise, may the angels lead you, George. At your coming, may the martyrs receive you and bring you into the heavenly city of New Jerusalem. Please bow your heads as we pray for God's grace. May the God of peace brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant to make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working